my beauties and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a fall makeup look and this time I'm bringing you guys an affordable fall makeup look and most of the products are affordable. I did have to use a few high-end products because I don't have an affordable product in that particular product line category. Y'all know what I mean. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining me for today's video. And if you are new to my channel, please make sure that you click that subscribe button. That way you won't miss any of my uploads. I actually enjoyed all of the makeup items that I used for today's tutorial. And I just love how this turned out. I really was going after a brown smoky eye and I wanted a brown lip as well. For today's look, I'm using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Palette. I still consider this to be an affordable palette because you're getting 35 shadows for $38 and when I thought of a brown smoky eye this was the palette I wanted to use because look at this palette guys it spells brown smoky eye and I really wanted an all matte eye so this was the palette that I chose I've used quite a few products that are um, new to me I haven't used here on my channel before. Last year I was only able to create one fall makeup look. This year I really wanted to try to get in at least three. So this is my second look. I'm going to try for another one before fall is over. So if you want to find out how I created this gorgeous brown smoky eye on a budget. On a budget. Yes. Then please continue to watch. So my first primer is this one by Milani. It's called Make It Last. And I'm also going to use this beauty sponge by Eco Tools. So far, so good. Still firmer than my beauty blender, but not bad. My second primer is this one by Wet n Wild. Refines pores, fills fine lines, brightens complexion, evens skin tone. Now I'm going in with this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Toffee Pecan. I could not find this in stores. I had to order it online and it is excellent foundation. That's a lot of foundation. My shade is Toffee Pecan and it's a really good color match for me. So you know I had to point out my little friend before somebody else does. I'm going to build up a little bit, add a little bit more in the areas where I have a few blemishes. This is in the shade Nude, and it really has a shade to me that adds like a color correcting factor. I have the Wet n Wild um, concealers, but I'm not a big fan. I'm not a fan of it, so today we'll use this. Let's see how this part works. Hmm, I feel like I need more. I feel like I don't have on enough. Okay. Here we go. And I'm going to take this over my eyes this time because I don't have an affordable eyeshadow primer. I think I gave mine to my daughter. <laughs> so that was the only one I had. And just to let you know, this sponge is a very good affordable option in comparison to my beauty blender. Let me add a little bit of my Age Rewind just to brighten a little bit more and cover those dark circles. I keep adjusting my camera because I'm not quite happy. All right, this is one of product that's not going to be affordable. I've been using this for a while now. I really like it. I haven't used it on my channel. I'm going to use this to set my concealer areas. It smells so good. I mean, there's somebody out here in the world that's just going around sniffing this peach perfect now i'm going to test out this maybelline fit me loose finishing powder and i have two shades i don't know which one i'm going to like it probably doesn't matter i'm going to start with a lighter shade that's light medium heard it's really amazing if i can get in it 
You twist to open it. It twists to open. I like the package. It's square with the little round section here. So I'm gonna use this to set the rest of my face. Whoa. Oh. Okay, way too much on my brush. I got, it went everywhere. Wait, way too much was on my brush. The next time I may try the next shade, the other shade the next time. I did it again, I did it again and I'm going to use it. Okay, let's dust this off because I gotta dust it off in this area. I forgot, I cannot get with the cream. The cream contour sticks, they throw me off. I like them, but I never used them before and I just always forget them. And I need them in my life. So we're going to use it regardless. Okay. This is the one by Anastasia. I'm gonna use a new brush this time. This is a Sigma brush, the 3D Kabuki. So let's see how it is with contour and let's just ignore the fact that I have powder on again. Oh, this is good for contour guys. Okay, I always forget, but I love this cream, and so I'm going to use it. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh my God. Do you see? And let's add a little more on this side, but are you, are you, are you seeing? It is really blending out this cream contour. I'm gonna use this little small Eco Tools brush to blend out the nose contour. I like that guys okay so let's just take a little bit of my powder since I didn't bake and just dust a little bit back on we'll just take a little bit of that powder and dust it over that contour just to set everything so I'm gonna use this NYX pencil to um, sculpt my brows and I do have a video dedicated to this on my channel you can go back and check that out so I'm gonna do it off camera and I'll be back let's um, get all this off make sure we have this off and I'm going to go ahead and um, buff out some of these lines and I'll also do it again later but I like to buff out any harsh lines that I see and I know that contour stick is not affordable but i don't have an affordable one guys i'm sorry if you know of an affordable um contour cream stick let me know and that is in the shade truffle i have to give them a big kudos even though i'm using this as a contour stick obviously they do have a nice shade range for their foundation stick because if a person uses this for foundation they're obviously darker than me so kudos to abh for including women of color. Okay, so I've already um, primed my eyelids with the concealer. Today, I'm going to use my um, Jaclyn Hill palette. There's so many beautiful colors here that will help me achieve the look I'm going after. Okay, I, I'm so tired of having a loud autofocus. I just want a new camera. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. It sounds like the Predator. <laughs> We're gonna use the Smith 235 brush to apply our first shade. Let's go in with butter here in the transition area. We're gonna zoom in. She has like the best transition colors in this palette. Now I will give her that. The sunlight's moving around outside, so sorry. I think I'm gonna go in with Roxanne just to make sure I'm, my crease is warm enough. And I think this time I'm going to use my Sigma brush 
I'm going to take this shade Roxanne. And that's going in at my crease. I mean, look at how pigmented this is. Did you see that? Sweeps on the lid so effortlessly. Let's go in with butter just a little bit. I'm just going to go straight into mocha here. Just beneath the crease. And I also have a Morphe brush. I love this Sigma brush. But if you're looking for an alternative, looking for like a more affordable alternative, this M330 brush is nice too. And is a good, nice synthetic blending brush from Morphe. And I used to use this all the time until I got the Sigma brush. And Sigma is not that expensive if you get them during a sale. I'm gonna take a little bit of chip. I'm gonna use this um, Sigma exact blending brush so I can really pack chip on and then I'll blend it out. I'm gonna take that same Sigma brush and blend it out here. Notice how Notice how with Jacqueline's color, like her shades, you can see, you know, it goes from light to dark. They don't get all muddy on the eye. I mean, that is amazing. I'm gonna put a little bit of this to clean this up a little bit. A little Morphe M438 brush and we'll just do this. All right, we're going to take our Morphe gel liner. Let's make sure I don't have any more powder. This is the Inkblot um, Duraline product. I use it to loosen up my Morphe gel liner. So I'm using my Sigma E06 brush. That's my favorite for liner. And I'm going to start in the middle. So I don't have too much product on the inner corner. Okay, and we're gonna do this. I really like this brush. This is the short shader brush. It's E20 brush by Sigma. I'm just gonna grab some shades. Let's go with Mocha. Then we'll do Chip. Go chip, go chip, go chip, go chip. And I'm gonna go in with a little bit of butter and apply that kind of under everything. My baby likes butter popcorn. That was a Supremes song back in the day. Okay, let's blend it all out here. Let me use my Morphe gel liner here. I'm gonna use that on my waterline. So now I'm going to apply the Jinx Lashes by Crown Moti. You can get them online for about $6. I'm gonna apply them off camera and I'll be back. Okay, so this is what we're looking like. I did um, I did go in and touch this up a little bit underneath just to smudge out that lower lash line just a little bit more. Um, I like this one as well, but I'm out of my L'Oreal Lash Paradise. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. We're gonna use this today. It might hurt though. This one is one of those harder ones that I I don't like the wand as much, especially with false lashes. I think the last time I did this, this was not good. I'm going in really gently on my lashes because I don't want to poke myself in the eye. And I remember the last time I used this type of wand, and it might have been this one, I was poking my eyeball. We'll try. We'll try it on lower lashes. Not the best wand. Or lower lash mascara. <gasps> this time I'm remembering to highlight my brow bone. We'll try in light here for my brow highlight. And I'm using this Sigma brush large concealer. I'm gonna do beam, beam for my inner tear duct. I'm just using this little small smudger brush this time. This is the one I can put my hands on. 
moving around in circular motions and fade it out. The only bronzer that I have that's in the affordable price range is this butter bronzer. I'm going to try it, guys. And I'm going to use this brush to apply it. This is the Morphe M523 brush. A lot of times when I use this brush, I can get a better payoff. But you guys know this one I think is a little light. It might even erase my pore contour. Right now, what I'm using it to do is kind of diffuse the harshness of the contour. Let me. I can't help it, guys. I have to go in with my Becca, um, our Panama Sun. I have to. Because that one's just so light. Let's just go over that contour a little bit. Don't have an affordable bronzer that is black girl friendly if you know of one let me know it's blushing time i'm gonna use this nude bh cosmetics blush palette i love this palette let's mix let's do some mixing let's mix this these three Ooh. i'm gonna place it first then we'll blend it I'm going back in with my translucent or my my fit me powder just kind of apply it to my nose here I want my nose to pop out a little bit more there we go guys let's see I have a couple of highlighter shades to pick from this is these are the two wet and wilds I can't ever find what the color is called but one is darker and one is lighter let's start with the dark one I've surprised myself and started using this Morphe fan brush. I have found a purpose for it. It really puts your highlight on very subtly. See how it's very subtle. It's not too intense. And it kind of like places it just perfectly. That is really, really pretty. Let's apply a little bit of the other one. Of the lighter color and see what we get here and I'll put the light one on my nose here maybe a little bit just a little bit but not much the Morphe fan brush has started started serving a purpose I had to kind of get rid of that. It's highlighting my little pimple, my little friend. I'm just going to go over this a little bit with the Eco Tools Blender just to kind of smooth it out. Lip liner today is going to be this NYX. It's brown SPL 802. And this kind of reminds me of cork. For lips today, I really wanted a dark lip. And this one is Soft Matte Lip Cream by NYX. This is such a beautiful brown. This is the shade Berlin. It smells so good. It smells like cookie dough, candle, or something like that. It just smells so good. I see fall. Do you see it? All right, let's touch up. Y'all know my routine. Let's touch up right here. I like to set today. We're using this Make It Last. The same thing I used as my prep spray, this Milani Make It Last. Oh, it's, it smells so fresh. It has 16 hour wear. It can prime and set. And as you can tell, I like it a lot. So this completes the look and I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. Please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe and go out and get one more fall look in before the end of the season. So I'll see you in the next video. So until the next time we meet again, this is Savvy signing out.